Hi guys, my name is Catherine. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I usually talk about, I give real life stories. Now this time I'm going to tell you about the tribes, the tribes in Kenya with the highest rate of witchcraft. Number one, the Akamba, also known as Kamba. This tribe is from the eastern part of Kenya. It has many towns, but one of them is Kitui. Kitui has the highest, highest rate of witchcraft to the highest level. You imagine you wake up one morning, you look in your neighbor's compound, it's raining. But in your compound, it's not raining. Kitui is generally a very dry area almost at this, that they rarely see rain. But here you look in your neighbor's compound, there is rain, but your compound, nothing. Look around the other compound, nothing. Somebody has performed witchcraft for his own compound to benefit. Alternatively, since witchcraft is negative, they have stopped the other parts of the uh, area. They have stopped rain from the other parts of the area so that they just have rain in their own, for their own benefit. It's crazy. The Kitui is just one of those towns in the eastern part. There is Kanzunzweni, there is Machakos, but Kitui has the highest and the well-known witches of the Kenyan in Kenya. Number two, the Mijikenda. These are from the coastal part of Kenya. These people are well known for something called jealousy. Nobody can prosper in peace. Should they see you prospering, they'll make sure to see your downfall. They have this crab mentality. They will pull you down. You just don't grow alone. See, somebody's building a mansion, a very big mansion, and then it just gets stuck suddenly. Reason? There is something that they use called bad energy. So they say the construction workers, they will shower in that building. Showering is removing dirt from your body. And so you're removing dirt. It's bad energy also from your body, which stagnates, which stagnates the development of that building. It never grows. So they believe this is just one of the Michikenda kind of witchcraft. Stagnation. They don't like to see others prosper because of jealousy. Although others are against it and they try to intervene and try to stop it. And last on the list is the Kisis. The Kisis are well respected when it comes to witchcraft. These people have one of the highest categories of witchcraft, but they're kind of dangerous because they use body parts. You imagine removing the eyes of a small kid they have to hurt somebody or something. Remove the eyes of a small kid and take them for rituals, to perform rituals for their own benefit. Well, most people condemn it and the police have intervened because now they're attacking any innocent, even the innocent people, just because they look kind of strange, they don't socialize, maybe they're locked up in their houses, some old women who never go out are being suspected of witches. So they're being lit in innocently. So that's why the police have also come to intervene. Cases of witchcraft like in Ukambani or from Ukambani, during some violence in Kenya, of course, normally there is some looting. So one guy looted a television and carried it you know, on his head to his home. Trying to reaching home, he tried to remove the telly from his head. Ooh, got stuck could not leave his head. The guy was walking with the telly all over. He had to return it to the shop. And when he returned it to the shop is when he could get off the head. Or else the guy was going to sleep with the telly on the head. <laughs> it's known that the shop belongs to some Kamba. Another case, the thieves return the things that they've stolen. You imagine you steal something and then you return it because of the bees. 
the bees have chased you up to the place that you stole the property, the bees. <laughs> so they just don't return the property alone. They return the property with some bees on their body. Of course, they have been stung. So this is just some of the cases of the witchcraft. Besides others, other people eating grass, being made to eat grass, and others having turning into half animals because they slept with uh, committed adultery with somebody's wife or some some kisses husband. Then their, their legs are turned into a cow's feet. These are some of just the weird cases that happen now in the Kenyan witchcraft. So if you like my content, share, like, and subscribe. Ciao!